guys, today's video is going to be a mixed haul. I've got some stuff from Boots, a couple of, in fact, I think it's almost all Boots and H&M, like 99.9%, um, but basically some kind of beauty and some upcoming travel stuff because I'm going on holiday at the end of this month, and then some awesome winter clothing bits. I didn't wanna film two videos. I felt like you wouldn't wanna watch two videos, so you can pick and choose from this one. Down in the description bar, I'll just have kind of a, a number, a minute, a second, as to when this becomes clothes. So if you're more interested in the H&M stuff, you can skip straight ahead to that. I know we've all been here before, but I literally went in for this one thing. Jane from British Beauty Blogger has blogged multiple times, I'm pretty sure, about the set of these that you can get from Boots for £10. It's three different ones, three different sizes. This is the middle one. Boots now sell this one on its own for £5. So I went in for the set thinking, I'll make use of them all at some point, but I really wanted this one and the smaller one. Um, and then when I saw you could just get this one, I thought, I'll just, I'll save the five pounds and just get the one because I'll probably be able to deal with just this one while I go on holiday. I really wanted just a clear, a clear case. I actually nearly spent, I want to say it's 25 pounds. It was some astronomical fee for what the thing actually is from Space NK for this little um, see-through cosmetic case thing. I mean, it looks really funky, super like cute looking, but still it was really expensive for what it was. Um, and I wasn't even sure whether or not it was going to be, um, is it TSA? I get so confused because I think it's called TSA and my union at work is the TSSA. I get confused with that. TSA, the, the airline thing. I don't even know whether or not it's approved to go through uh, security without being put in a separate plastic bag anyway. So it seemed crazy to spend that money. I found this, I thought it's probably gonna go in my carry on with a bunch of different things in it, not necessarily cosmetics. Um, I could put different things and then have my cosmetics in that little pouch anyway. Um, and it's only five pounds. So I went in specifically for this and then I spent 50 pounds on other things. I mean, the problem is, number one, you start picking things up. Number two, you start seeing banners saying, spend 50 pounds, you get X amount extra points. And then you just can't stop. I did do pretty well to go just, just over the threshold spend. That was my own, I was literally like, as I was scanning things in, I was with Ella um, and I got to like 51 pounds or something. And I was like, I think she thought it was crazy. Celebrating spending more money than I intended, but hey ho. So I'm just gonna run you through the things that I bought. Batiste, I ran out of Batiste ages ago. I've been trying to use up the different dry shampoos that I've had in, nothing works as well as Batiste. So one of these is going in the holiday pile. Um, and I'm trying not to use the tropical one because it's a bit summery, but the tropical one is my favorite. Oh, a couple of things in here I actually bought from Tesco. You know, in those little bits where they've got the What's the word? Clearance is the word I'm looking for. These were in the clearance section. Um, and since we are going on holiday, I thought this is amazing. So they are the Garnier Sensitive Advanced SPF. And one of them is an aerosol is the word I was looking for. So I thought that would be really good because we're going to Disney World in the parks um, for the kids' faces and over makeup and things like that. Um, and then I've got this, which is baby in the shade, again, SPF 50. So I think I'm gonna just take these with me all the time. And then we'll probably have a big one with us while we're there, but it's not gonna be like a sunbathing holiday. It's more of a anything that's quick to apply and reapply while we're out in the park. I got a couple of face masks from the anatomicals range. I got the Hotty Totty is never spotty anti-blemish face mask. I got the toning cucumber face mask. Oh, this is called let us give thanks for it which is supposed to be toning. I don't really know what that does, but hey ho. And then the deep cleansing mud mask, which says farewell, the scarlet pimpernel. Pim pimple hell, pimple hell, pimple hell. I did also buy um, a sanctuary thermal charcoal mask. I love these so much. I've used these so many times and I got another one of those pink um, moisture boost, moisture boost, something boost. The Garnier moisture bomb. Love the pink one, love it so much. Keep it in the fridge, really, really refreshing. I'm just overrun with products right now. I bought an insect repellent, the Boots own brand Repel, because I'm told, and I've heard in videos, that Animal Kingdom, this is like maximum strength, Animal Kingdom in Disney World um, is like mosquito bite central. So fingers crossed. I kind of wish I'd bought this at the beginning of the summer because I was bitten to death this summer. You know, we had the crazy heat wave. I could feel something on my arm. I looked down and it was in my arm and I pulled it out while it was literally sucking my blood. Horrifying little things. So I wish I'd even got some of that stuff at home. Um, I started burning citronella candles after that, but I definitely wanted some for 
in Florida, let alone in Animal Kingdom. Apparently that's a really big deal. Um, some, the pink Garnier, again, I'm just really into the pink ones, obviously. This is the Micella Extra Gentle Cleansing Wipes. I got these mainly for the plane, but just like for ease while we're on holiday, especially because between me and Ella, we'll use a lot of cleanser. Um, allergy eye mist. This is something that I use while I travel all the time. I get really dry eyes in the morning time. I'm not a morning person and anything that can kind of pet me up in the morning is great. This is brilliant for on an aeroplane. I got the allergy one because um, Lee tends to get allergies and I thought it might do double duty while we're on holiday. Uh, some little hand wipe things like wet wipes. Uh, I got another lip balm because that's just going to go in my travel toiletries. Brand new lip balm. I love the Burt's Bees one and it is the original mint. You can get loads of different ones. I've had like a coconut one at one point, which I'm now realising disappeared because I don't know where that went. I got the collection Sheer Loose Powder. This was a bit of an oddball thing because I didn't buy a lot of makeup. Uh, but I bought this because I've been trying to use different versions of the uh, Ben Minerals Mineral Veil. I know this is not going to be the same thing, but I'm trying to test out some cheaper ones because I want to make a video or at least a blog post comparing some different ones. I'm really into the Mineral Veil, the Vichy Derma Blend Powder. I'm using one at the moment from, oh, it's a really inexpensive, it's not Wet n Wild, Technic. Um, I think I'm using a Technic one at the moment. Just very, very fine, loose powders to set my face and see whether or not there's really all that much in it between the very, very expensive ones and the cheaper ones. So I thought I'd get this one because it's actually got some colour to it. It says translucent, but it, it is a little bit of something, whereas the other ones I'm, I'm testing are almost all just white HD powders. Um, I got some eye makeup remover pads because Ella doesn't really love to use a cleanser on her eyes, so I got those for her for travel. And they're like little cucumber things. And then I got these little things. Um, this is a little mini spritzer bottle. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in this yet. Either something for my hair or a facial mist. I've got this little bottle. I bought this for a reason, and now the reason escapes me. I think it was for shampoo. I'm really into the, um, I think it's called OGX, the shampoo brand. Is that the same thing, or is that what they call it in America? It used to be called Organics, right? Um, the one that's like mint and tea tree. Oh my God, that smells amazing. It smells like, candy canes. Uh, so I think that's what I bought this for. Well, I just don't know how it works, like it doesn't feel very flexible. I feel like with these kind of bottles you never get the bottom, never get what's in the bottom of it, do you? And then I got these little tubs because when I went away last I had to um, wash out, and it was fine, they did fine, but I had to wash out some kind of old eye creams and old sample jars to use, and I thought I actually am just going to buy some fit for purpose tubs and label them with different masks that I use, different eye creams, different moisturisers, things that I don't need to be taking a full size of, um, and these just kind of, oh my goodness, they're stacking. They cried out to me. Oh, so they even screw together. Oh, that's amazing. The only other things that I got before I move on to the H&M stuff, my nails broke. So in my last video, on my I think it was my Primark video, so many people complimented me on my nails, and then almost the next day, I snapped. My Both my thumbnails were like super, super long, and they've snapped below my actual um, nail bed. That's what happened last year and it really put me off growing my nails again. Um, so what I did this time, because last time I just chopped them off and lots of people afterwards said, oh, there was a solution. I got some brush on nail glue. So if you snap your nail, I'm, you know, time will tell with this one, but for right now I have um, filed them quite far down. Uh, but if you snap your nail, if you just put this on instead of nail polish and then nail polish and stuff on top of it, it does help to temporarily mend it. I also got some of this Sally Hansen Miracle Cure Strengthener for my nails. Um, and totally off the wall purchase, I got some CBD oil. So I have um, someone at work that I know who was telling me she had breast cancer a couple of years ago. And she were, we were talking about like, chronic pain and um, anxiety and stuff. And I don't even remember how this came up in conversation, but she recommended CBD oil. Initially, I was like, well, what exactly is it? I've never taken any recreational drugs in my entire life. Made me a little bit nervous, but it doesn't give you any kind of high whatsoever. It just kind of, um, what did they call it? A calmative. I would say it chills you out ever so slightly. Like, you're supposed to put a few drops underneath your tongue, hold it in your mouth for a minute, um, and then I take a drink of something else. Everyone says how horrible tasting it is. It's not that horrible tasting. It kind of is like if you were going to 
um, put a drop of olive oil in your mouth, it would be exactly the same. It's not doing anything amazing for my back pain, but apparently you need to use it kind of consecutively and build it up. Moving on to H&M. So, I have a few things in here for Ella and, um, well, let's start with these pants for Lee. Um, I was looking for Disney and like character stuff. There's hardly any things for um, boys. In fact, I don't even know if I've, I think I've got the stuff that I bought for Milo in there. Um, hardly any stuff for boys that's like Disney things. I've talked about this before in Primark videos, but we've been round and Milo said, it's not fair, like there's so much stuff for the girls and there's hardly anything for boys. Every other department had loads of Disney stuff in it, just none for the boys. Even the men's, but none for the boys, it was annoying. So that was part of the reason that I actually went online to H&M that particular day and I found these, which I thought were little boy pants originally, then I realised they were for men. So I got some Marvel pants for Lee for holiday because we're going to Disney but we're also going to Universal. Um, I have got some stuff for Ella in here. What is this trend with the leggings? I know I talked about it in my last video, the whole thing where you have leggings, you should be covering your crotch. That's not a thing now. Apparently, you were supposed to, have, supposed to wear leggings and a crop top. I just eventually had to just be okay with it because all teenagers are wearing this. So I got her leggings with a stripe down them because it's a thing now, guys. Everybody has leggings with a stripe down them. Um, I got her some more as well with a red stripe and they are Ella approved, in case anyone's wondering. I also got her a jumper, but don't worry, don't worry. It's also cropped. Everything has to be cropped. But this is my kind of, you'll see if I ever get her in any of our Disney photos that I'm allowed to actually post online because she has photo approval, which is why you never see her in anything. Um, she never gives me any approval. Uh, but you will, uh, you will hopefully see some of our like, I'm only going to buy her something that I feel comfortable letting her wear, but obviously it's pointless me buying something if she refuses to wear it. So you'll see our meeting in the middle with some of her outfits, and that's a perfect example. I bought a bunch of different jumpers because in my closet video, if you saw that, I realised that I kind of want to live in skinny jeans slash leggings and jumpers. I love this time of year. It's just so much easier to dress for this time of year for me. Uh, and so this jumper that I'm wearing right now actually is from H&M. I just, this came with um, this bundle of clothes and I couldn't wait to wear it. I wore it yesterday and I'm wearing it today. Don't tell anyone, but it's really, really comfortable. It feels really soft. It looks like it could be a bit itchy, but it's not at all. It's got almost like a fleecy feel to it, um, but it's definitely still warm. I just, I love this style of jumper. Um, I got this, which is a roll neck. I go back and forth with the roll neck because I've got a really round face and I could do with kind of a jaw but I don't really have a strong jaw. Like it just, I just become face to neck. Face to neck. I've, I've made my peace with it at this point but when I have a roll neck I kind of lose my neck so then I just become face to body. It's not necessarily the most flattering but I liked it on the model. It's a really wide jumper and I love the colour. I'm not going to try things on. I'm sorry. But I really, as soon as I finish this, I have to rush to my computer and book some fast pass tickets. And I, can't, I do not have time to try on today. Apologies, apologies. It is a poor show, I know. I got a couple of these vest tops because I'm really into the um, either skinny jeans or leggings vest top and a colourful uh, word, colourful cardigan. Or I'll do something like that and then I'll put this over the top and if I'm not too, if I'm too hot, then I can take it off. Um, so again, another just v-neck woolly jumper. This is what I was looking for from Primark, but no Primark. You didn't give it to me. H&M did. Milo loved that. I also got him this. He thought it was um, a Gryffindor t-shirt and he said, is that because they didn't have any Slytherin ones? I'd forgotten that Slytherin was his favourite. Milo has this thing where he aligns himself with the bad guy. And initially, when he was quite young, he gave the reason as <laughs> the reason being that the bad guy, nobody ever likes the bad guys the best. And so he was trying to make it fair. And now it's just stuck with him. Although I remember Ella when she was little, her favourite um, character in The Simpsons was Mr. Burns. So maybe I've just created some little monsters. Uh, but Milo loves, he calls him Mouth Boy, and we don't correct him. Um, like Hermione, a Mouth Boy. Um, so Mouth Boy is his favourite. He, when we're watching the movies, he will quite frequently try to explain to us why he's not really a bad guy, why really in the end he wasn't that bad a guy. On the way to school this morning, we were talking about um, the Muppets Most Wanted and he was telling me how Constantine 
maybe he wasn't that bad really, and Dominic bad guy, well he was only being bad because he was doing what the other frog told him to do. He's always constantly on the bad guy's team, so he was very pleased when he found out it was actually just a Hogwarts t-shirt and Slytherin is on there, so. A little bit of a tangent about my son being a potential psychopath. Um, I got this, I love these kind of t-shirts with um, high-waisted shorts because it means that I've got kind of, I'll probably tuck the very front in to the shorts with a belt, uh, but I feel quite covered, I feel it's not clingy. It's my favorite style of t-shirt to wear in the summertime because I feel like I'm, I'm summery, but I'm not, there's nothing clinging to my middle. And especially when I'm kind of running around and um, eating potentially a lot, the food and wine festivals on Epcot that I'm really excited about, then I don't want anything clinging around my, my middle. It's also not too low in the sides, but I could put like, I might wear like a sports bra or something with it. So I feel a little bit more covered. Um, and it's red, which is like a Disney red, isn't it? Um, I actually got these a couple of weeks ago. This is not within the same haul. And I wanted to mention them because they're not what I thought they were going to be online. They're more like pajamas. I thought it was potentially loungewear that I could wear as outerwear, which seems to be like the new trend. You know, like the, the new version of a Juicy Couture tracksuit. But I don't, I mean, I might wear this out of the house with jeans, but I definitely wouldn't wear the set. And I definitely wouldn't wear these out of the house because the material that they are is totally like a fleecy material. Let me get my face out of it so you can see a little bit better. It's just kind of a brushed, they look like I've had them for a million years. And they're very comfortable, but where is it, where is it? They've got a huge hole in the crotch and they got those, uh, they got that hole before I'd washed them even once. So they're not fantastic. They do them in a leopard print as well, although I like them. They're not great material and they're not great quality and they're not that cheap from H&M, so I wanted to mention them. I got these jeans, which are the perfect fit, exactly as usual, I got them in a 30, 30 and I am a 12. Um, they're just kind of like skinny high waist jeans and I like the color. Again, I felt like the, the reds and the blues are very Disney. Um, oh, and I got these, I have to, what, what we call inside them out. What do you call it when something is inside out and you put it the right way around again? What is the word for that that you use in your house? This is genuinely, this would be actually helpful. I say this word, I say inside them out on a daily basis. So what is the right word that you would use? So now I've insided them out. These are, these remind me, oh they're the other way around. These remind me of some leggings that I used to have from Zara years and years and years ago. And they've got these panels, again let me get my face out so it might actually focus these elastic panels, really, really thick elastic panels. Um, and then the kind of piping down the legs. They're just really smart looking leggings, really thick. Um, I wouldn't say, I got them in a small. Did I get them in a small? Yeah, I did. Hmm. So I got them in a small. I wouldn't say that I would have gone smaller than this. When I first put them on, I felt like, oh yeah, they're really holding me in. They're like really well fitting. And then I wore them for two days for work and by the end of the second day, they felt quite baggy. Just something to mention, I don't know whether or not they're gonna kind of spring back after a wash, but if not, I maybe would have gone a size down knowing that they were gonna get a little bit baggy. Because they were they were never too tight, um, they just kind of fit nicely. And I feel like maybe if I'd got them a size smaller, they would have fit nicely kind of midway through the first day, I don't know. But I like those, and again, I'm looking for slightly smarter versions of my um, sports leggings and hoodies that I was living in. Oh, another one of those vests. And the last thing I've got in front of me, or behind me, um, it's not from H&M at all, it's from Primark, and it is the bras that I practically live in, um, that I realized that I needed some more of. I was putting off going and buying more bras from Primark. I used to buy bras from Victoria's Secret all the time. Well, not all the time that would be insane, they're really expensive. But I used to always like wear bras from Victoria's Secret and occasionally buy myself some more. And I started buying those ones. They're six pound for three. I went back thinking, oh, I'll go and get a couple more bras. Cause in my mind, bras are expensive. And I went and I found that six pounds. Why was I ever shopping in Victoria's Secret? It's madness. Um, so that is it for my very, very chatty, rambly haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot of a lot, and now I can finally put all of these things away. I'm really excited to start packing. I have some packing videos coming up. 
Um, and if you are interested in Disney stuff, would you be interested in a planning video? It's been something that's been requested, but not very much. So I don't know how many of you are really into that kind of thing. Also, Disney vlogs. How into the Disney vlogs are you going to be? Because I'm planning on doing, um, I'm thinking those of you that are still with me at this point, um, are the people that I should be asking. Um, I'm planning on doing a vlog every single day, but is that overkill? Is that too much? Do you want to see them every day? Or do you want me to spread them over like two weeks? We're only there for eight days. Let me know. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next week with something completely different.